Here is the kernel density estimate of the Irish dataset. What you're seeing now is interaction. We are reducing the bandwidth so the individual samples appear. The bandwidth is then increased again and an image more suited for an overview is created. Here we have the distribution of time spent over weight of the drill string in tons and depth of the drill bit in meters vertically. We zoom in to spot details and zoom out and increase the kernel size to get an overview. The operation performed here is a pull out of hole, where the aim is to remove the drill string, possibly replacing parts or setting a new casing. For financial reasons, this is an operation we would like to go as fast as possible. Since this is a quantitative visualization, we can actually integrate up the different areas to find out exactly how much time was spent there. Like 20 minutes here, 10 minutes at this depth, or when we spot this large area of buildup of non-productive time, we integrate up and find out that it's actually 74 minutes spent there. This is something we definitely need to review later on. This is the distribution of flights with a two-hour time window of all commercial air traffic in the US. The time on the top indicates UTC time. You are now seeing traffic decreasing from east to west as night falls, then starting again the next morning but quickly dissipates again because of the tragic events on this day. You are now looking at ship traffic as captured from the Norwegian AIS system. As we zoom in towards the west coast, our automatic kernel adjustment reduces the bandwidth, thus increasing detail. The AIS data is streaming in faster than real-time, approximately one hour per second. 